I know. I'm I'm standing in the the rye grass treatment without Valencia clover, and you can see the plantain is very dominant and and it's um, acting as a broadleaf grass. Really, it's it's um, pretty strong in here compared with the first treat first paddock we looked at and this replicate of the four treatments. So here's the the coxfoot with Valencia and the, the coxfoot's pretty strong there. It's a wee bit of a camping effect near the fence but you can see in um, since the last grazing four three or four weeks ago the coxfoot has really boomed away again. So if we come back to this um, ryegrass treatment, the, the sown clovers in here are white and I can't see any as I look down, but the, the two sub clovers are in here doing their thing and forming a mat only about or well, less than a centimetre high at the moment and they'll be growing quite quickly now. We've got a full canopy of, of leaf, not much bare ground showing and that they should be growing at the same speed as a perennial ryegrass through the, this cool season. So subclover growth rate, being an annual, is, is quite rapid in the cool season. And it, it, in broad terms, it's the same growth rate as your perennial ryegrass with a reasonable nitrogen supply. So if we will come and have a bit of a closer look, but remember, all the ryegrass treatments got 20 kilos of AR1 ryegrass broadcasts about a month ago and we're hoping some of those will establish and thicken up the grass component of this treatment. Alright we're having a close up look at this ryegrass treatment with sub clover only, no balancer and this is typical of this paddock. We've got a, a virtual lawn of sub clover and a little bit of speed well weed coming through there. Uh, the, the tonic doing quite well, the, the plantain, but there's not a hell of a lot of it really. If this quadrant here is 0.2 of a metre squared, we've got one, two, three, uh, about five plants there, multiply that by five. There's about 25 um, plantain plants per metre squared, and probably that's not, not too bad. It's notable that the, the growth form of the plantain is quite erect and that's really good for the surrounding clover whereas the coxfoot was growing about this tall but it was having more lateral growth and flopping over the clover so it's quite a nice combination and I understand quite a few farmers in the North Island particularly are now looking at, at plantain particularly and maybe chicory with, with clover and not worrying too much about the grass. Very revolutionary, isn't that wonderful? Okay, well here we've got this worry with the grass and we've got the bigger plants will be the fescue lolium hybrid and we're hoping some of the, that looks like a ryegrass to me, but we're hoping some single tillered things here might be German, no, there's, there's a few little guys there that will be, we hope, the AR1 ryegrass germinating. And so we're going to score, there's another one, Ooh, once you get your eye on they're there. So let's be optimistic for, for late August, having a, um, a regeneration of the grass content of this pasture. But you can see how it's going to generate absolutely elite feed for the ewe with triplets. But um, yeah, what, what contribution does it make for the rest of the year, some skeptics might say.